ASMR Nation. I've got four books here, none of which I've read, all that have been sitting on my shelf for a long time, so we're just gonna scan them. We're just gonna look at them um, and see if any of them sound. My cinnamon trident in. And first, we will do some light. Housekeeping. If you're new here, welcome to my nonsense. If you're old here, welcome back. Oh, jeez. If you're new here, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you're old here, double check. Go double check. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit the like if you like, leave a comment. It could be anything related to the video, or it could just be a hello. Anything as long as it's cool, as long as it's friendly. Hit the notification bell, and as always, my tip jars will be linked in the description. No pressure whatsoever, but anything donated to the channel is very much appreciated, and it's very helpful. Okay. I've read by this author, and I've even read the first book in this series because it's a series. But it doesn't say in the book what number in the series this one is, and I've only read the first one. The first one was called A Drink Before the War, and this one is called there is a movie, and this is the cover of this book is from the movie. We did just watch this movie, like, within the last two months. Me and my fiancé did. And it's Casey Affleck. And then the actress, oh, I cannot think of her name right now, she's in a lot of stuff. Um, but this one... Tough, true, powerful story written by a stunningly good novelist of our very best, and he is. What else did I read by Shutter Island? Shutter Island, I believe, is Dennis Lee. Dennis Lee. Um, I think, oh, the Tom Hardy one, Tom Hardy movie, where he's like a bartender. Tough neighborhood of Dorchester is no place for an innocent for the innocent or the weak. A territory defined by hard heads and even harder luck. Its streets are littered with the detritus detritus of broken families, hearts, and dreams. Now one of its youngest is missing. Private investigators Patrick Kenzie and Angela Gennaro don't want the case. But after pleas from the child's aunt, they open up an investigation that will ultimately risk everything. Their relationship, their sanity, and even their lives to find the little girl lost. Powerful and raw, harrowing and unsentimental. What does unsentimental mean? Compelling, just the way we like it. Mr. Lee Hain delivers big time Wall Street Journal. Casey Affleck. And Michelle Monaghan. Michelle Monaghan. Mystic River. He also wrote Mystic River, which is also a movie. If you have not seen Shutter Island, Mystic River, or Gone Baby Gone, if you're not a reader, just jump right into the movies. All those movies are insanely good. Um, Shutter Island watched that so many times, but it isn't until I watched it the last time that really everything clicked, because I think every time you watch it, a few more things click, right? The last time I watched it, everything clicked. So watch it ten times. For the next ten years, watch it one time a year. 
That's your homework. I'm still not there yet with Inception. I think I would have to watch Inception a hundred times for everything. Everything to make sense. And we watched that too. We watched, um, no, when did we watch Inception last? No, it's been a while. Right now, I'm on my Killian Murphy, Tom Hardy couple power friendship couple kick. So, I do need to go watch everything that they're in together, and Inception is one of those. Okay, I've heard good things about this next one like, really good things, but I have no idea what it's about. I just know people love it, and it is. The curious incident of the dog in the night time. Remark. Whipbread book of the year, a New York Times notable book, moving. Think of the sound of fury crossed with Catcher in the Rye and one of Oliver Stack's real life stories. An amazing novel. An amazing book. Christopher John Francis Boone knows all the countries of the world and their capitals and every prime number up to 7,057. He relates well to animals but has no understanding of human emotions. He cannot stand to be touched and detests the color yellow. This improbable story of Christopher's quest to investigate the suspicious death of a neighborhood dog makes for one of the most captivating, unusual, and wild, widely heralded novel in recent years. A superb achievement, he is a wise and bleakly funny writer with a rare gift of empathy. Today's show, Book Club Selection. I don't know where I picked it up, but it looks like I paid $3.95 for this. And then on the inside are more accolades, accolades. Both clever and observant, astonishingly, astonishingly captivating, fierce and ingenious, smart, honest, and wrenching. Heart in the mouth stuff, terrifying and moving, head and is to be congr congratulated for imagining a new kind of hero. And more more accolades in the beginning. Oh. Sorry if you guys can hear like some bass in the background. There is a truck that just started like across the street. It is so loud. Like, I don't get it. It's a newer truck. So do you make it loud on purpose? And if so, why would anybody want their vehicle to be louder than it needed to be. That, I'm lost on that. This one has been on my reading list for a long, long time on my TBR. Both the next ones I have, both of them. Um, the River at Night. I should probably read this. This one in the summertime. I feel like it's a summertime type of book. Maybe not though, maybe it's fall. River at Night, a novel. Raw, relentless, and heart poundingly real. You'll never guess where it takes you. I love these. I read a couple that were like this. Can't remember the titles now. But one was like a girl's trip. <clears throat> a girl's trip, and they got like lost in the woods or something. And another one was two guys that were childhood friends took like their annual river trip and something crazy happened. But this one, featuring a pocket readers group guide, oh so it would be a good book club pick. Terrifyingly real and impossible to put down. Winifred Allen needs a vacation. 
stifled by a soul-crushing job and lonely after the end of a 15-year marriage when he is feeling vulnerable. So when her three best friends insist on a high-octane getaway for their annual girls' trip, she signs on despite her misgivings. What starts out as an invigorating rafting excursion <clears throat> so this is another like girls trip one invigorating rafting excursion in the Allagash wilderness soon becomes an all too real nightmare a freak accident leaves the women stranded separating them from everything they need to survive when night descends a fire on the mountainside lures them to a ramshackle camp appears to be their lifeline. But as Winnie and her friends grasp the true intent of their supposed saviors, secrets emerge and lifelong allegiances are put to, put to the test. To survive, Winnie must reach beyond the world she knows to harness an inner strength she never knew she possessed. With pacing as ruthless as the river itself, the river at night is a dark exploration of creatures, both friend and foe, that she won't soon. So in this case, they are on a rafting trip. I feel like I kind of want to read this one on audio. I love, this is like a perfect size of book. I wish more books came in this size. Like this is a size that you can get into your purse. Not my purse right now, because I have a really tiny purse right now, but a, a general purse. And it's like right about, I don't really love long, long books. This is, this is just perfect. Okay. The last one. Now this is a chunk. This one's a bit of a chunk. I remember buying this. I bought this at like an outlet, like a, a book, book outlet, an outlet mall for, it looks like, probably, I probably did the four for 20. This is heavy. Even though it's paperback, this is heavy. And it is a night film. Night film. Like, just look at it. miss your subway stop, let dinner burn, and start sleeping with the lights on. Bye. Oh, this one was five. Sorry, guys. This one was Erica Frenick. And this is by Marisha Pessel. Marisha Pessel. Author of Special Topics in Calamity Physics. Never heard of that. A lot of my booktubers have talked about this book, but I feel like I have to be fully present. It's not like a casual, it's not like a beach read, it's not like a domestic, like an easy domestic thriller. I think you really, I don't even think you could read this one on audio because there's stuff in here that, like math type stuff, I believe. Um, a hair raising mystery. That is equal parts a family drama, horror movie, and jigsaw puzzle. As the pieces come together, it's impossible to look away. Lee Child calls Night Film a hypnotically suspenseful. Brilliant and haunting, this is a gripping story of one man's search for the truth about life and death on a beautiful of a beautiful young woman. Ashley Cordova, the mysterious gifted daughter of the reclusive film director Stanislas Cordova, is found dead in an abandoned warehouse in Lower Manhattan. Her death is ruled a sewer slide, but veteran investigative journalist Scott McGrath suspects otherwise. What happened to Ashley? As McGrath tries to uncover the truth, he is drawn into a spellbinding quest in the underworld of Cordova's family life. With breakneck pace and dazzling in inventiveness, Night film will hold you in suspense. Sorry, people are starting to move around. Ugh. With 
breakneck pace and dazzling inventiveness, night film will hold you in suspense until you turn the final page. on audio because these are like clue type things like what is this I don't know web pages or something um, evidence magazine articles book that you would really need to have a whole journal going to follow and like annotate. And I usually don't annotate fiction books, but I, I think this is like a class. Oh, my alarm's going off. All right, I better go. If you are still watching, thank you for watching to the end. I hope that you have a good rest of your day, rest of your evening, and or a good night's sleep, and I will see y'all real soon.